so we're now going after the main Geth base of the area. We took out the other three or four, and now we get we find out about the main location. And it's actually a bit of a rare situation because they add a new galaxy to your map. Not galaxy. They, they add a new system to your, to your galaxy map, uh, which, which is actually directly unlocked from you doing the quest, which is kind of a big deal because that means if you're doing collectibles and stuff, you actually have to do this quest in order to unlock the other system in order to find out about the other ones. Otherwise, you would never know why you why you don't have all your Asari writings or something like that. I can't think of a lot of situations where this actually happens. I think most of the time in this game, uh, you just have access to everything from the get-go. It's I think it's basically just like I think I think the end point of this entire Saren quest will eventually lead to a new system, and that's basically the only example in the game. I think. Otherwise, you have just have the whole galaxy map from the get-go. It's just a matter of having a reason to go anywhere. Or... Exploring for the sake of it. God damn it. Take a hit, you little shit. There we go. Anyone else? I don't think so. That's a great miss on my part. Congratulations. Nailed it. Alright, you deserve punishment. You know what you did. Ah, that's still missed. Damn you third-person cameras with lying reticles that lie to me. Wow, that was not on target. Shoot him there, in the butt. Shoot him where the sun don't shine or whatever. Ah, crap. Okay, hits are ha- What? He didn't fall over. I glitched through him. Okay, maybe he fell over. I can't tell what's happening over there, to be honest. No, he's walking. He's still walking. He's walking and talking. Okay. I'm gonna recover for a second, because I've made a mistake. I took way too many hits there. Thankfully, I've got a horrifying amount of weapons. Uh, the game was... Oh, crap. Oh, cool, he hit something. The game was requiring... Well, the game was warning me. They're like, hey, you better uh, throw stuff away, because uh, in about ten more items, you're gonna have to start losing stuff automatically. It's really only the cannon that doesn't have damage that make this worthwhile. Slowly chipping away. Keeping busy. As long as we're down to one, it's easy. I'm just trying to move around and avoid it. projectiles for multiple targets. Gets a little gets a little messy. Weird how un what, weird how undefended this location is, specifically. The other Geth locations were actually they probably- they showed, like, a heavier... force. I guess we'll see. And everyone's- a few- everyone has slightly different armor now, because I apparently picked up better stuff for everyone. Makes sense, I've been doing side quests for a while now. I mean, I have how much money now? Hi? Eight million! Jesus. Yeah. There's- all the expensive stuff is also only single purchase. So I don't think you can even spend that money reasonably unless you're just st buying everything in stock at every store just for fun. And I mean power to you. Let's take out his shields. There we go. Got him. Got him. Hi, friend. I'm gonna sabotage your gun. Gotcha. Good, good, good talk we had here. Oh, they probably got a sniper upstairs. Even see, even Geth outposts. This makes it really hard to believe. Uh, it's one thing that like you could you can kind of throw away a little bit of it. Oh god. To some extent, you can be all like, oh, the old buildings look the same because you're mostly going after. There we go. You're mostly going after a bunch of uh, human settlements. Most of the time. There's some aliens, but mostly mostly humans and mercenaries. So you can be like, oh, it's a prefab building that they like mass produce and construct over and over again. This is a Geth outpost. Why would the Geth have the same building? They're literally the enemy and they've been in isolation. Unless the Geth just took over human outposts, but that seems unlikely. Doesn't sound right, because they have there's unique Geth uh, turrets and everything set up around the outside, so it seems weird that the building's the same. As the last Geth falls, you hear music from across the room. On the monitor, Quarian stands before a hushed crowd, warbling a mournful capella of words, of worlds and innocence lost. The recorded song is dispatched to the Geth worlds behind the Perseus Veil. The transmitter shuts down. 
What? They ha they were transmitting sad Korean songs. Is it they are they celebrating defeating the Koreans and taking their home world? Well, I mean that's that happened 300 years ago. But like what? That's an odd detail. That feels like a really odd detail that uh that they have a, a Korean song being broadcasted. Oh, there's a building. There's a room to check out. I'll take a quick look. See, they even fill the room with geth stuff in an attempt to try to pretend it's not a geth place. I mean, that's not just a normal human place. But it's totally just a repeating, uh, tile that's overlapping a completely nor a completely identical, uh, building that's being mass recycled throughout the game. I am constantly surprised by how many comparisons I can make between this game and No Man's Sky. But once again, obviously this game's not that same type of disappointment because this game is a fully featured RPG that's a video game. It just shares some similar concepts of how it tried to be a giant galaxy by while I, while actually just mass producing stuff and kind of and making kind of becoming bland in the process in the mass produced part, not the story and not the main story. I love the main I love all the main missions a lot. But uh unfortunately this bland part of Mass Effect, the less interesting part was the entirety the entirety of No Man's Sky, except No Man's Sky ha didn't have a story or structures or side quests or anything to do. It was just continue to wander around the, the desolate nonsense all day. And that's why I kind of just stopped playing it eventually. I'm like, this is... I'm just doing nothing. This game's nothing. You discover a number of encrypted Geth data files in the proper hands. They can reveal much about the evolution of the Geth since the banishment of the Quarians. Anything to say about that, Tally? Ready whenever you are. All right. Yeah, good input. It's just we got crazy information on the Geth, but sure, we'll come back to that later. I'll bring this up to some extent, uh, both because I brought up Mass Effect when I was talking about my my apprehension about No Man's Sky before it even came out, and uh, also because people wonder why my No Man's Sky just kind of suddenly cuts off as a series because I just kind of stopped playing one day and never came back to it. And that's mostly it. It's just... There's just... just It was just nothing. It was just nothing happening every day when I played that game. It was just a screensaver for a video game. And that's a bummer. That's a real big bummer. And so one day it just ended. It may have been an unsatisfying ending, but... I don't think there was a satisfying place to end it. I don't think even the ending of the game was going to be satisfying. Oh my god. Nine, 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 nine. The money maxes out. It's I've maxed out the money. I can't make money anymore. I have infinite money. Money literally means nothing to me anymore. It's just nines. I guess everything turns into Omni Gel now forever. Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead, make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt, one I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard. Hey, we did it. Is that it, though? So is that... Is that Tally's side quest just completely resolved instantaneously? I think it is. Yep, Tally's pilgrimage. We did it. We beat her pilgrimage. We did it, everybody. It's interesting because it's like the one... It's the one kind of loyalty mission type situation in this game that uh, just kind of comes and goes on its own. Like, you kind of... You kind of with, uh, fulfill the requirement for it before knowing you're even doing it. And then it just happens. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I did Rex, Garrus, and Tally. I don't think Liara has a loyalty mission of any kind, really. 
but she has uh, she we of course have to rescue her for a whole mission, and then there's a whole mission surrounding her mom. So her having her own side quest would be overdoing it at some point. And Caden and Ashley are just members of the crew. They were here from the get go. Message from Admiral Hackett, Commander. Patching it through. We just received your report. Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major offensive in the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong Cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. Hack it out. Alright, so now it's time to clean up Cerberus. I've brought my human crew along. Got a few things to deal with around here. What's this? A mummified Solarian. Oh god, I ran him over. I'm so sorry. Mummified, huh? Yeah. Definitely mummified. Definitely not just a random Solarian model lying on the ground. Just f face exposed to the atmosphere in a regular spacesuit that everyone wears. This Cerberus soldier had an identifi identification tag for Captain Varsynth. One of the Solarian soldiers responsible for the capture of the League of One. It's unclear how he came into possession of this relic. Huh. Why is a Solarian a member of Cerberus? The anti-alien humans first group? They of course always they of course will be happy to tell you how they're totally not racist or anything like that. And in a way you can almost say they're they're not they're not full on KKK, it's just they're they're a group that are all humans first. Well, they're dead. That was quick. So, I, honestly, I didn't know that anyone besides humans could be in Cerberus. Maybe that's something that get ret the guy gets retconned later in the series. Like these guys are humans, I think. Pro possibly. Maybe. Let's go make a mess. Come and get us, guys. We're here to have fun. Come on, I want to talk to you. I just newly loaded my shotgun with high explosive rounds so that it'll overheat the shotgun in one shot, probably, but also shoot crazy, ridiculous explosions out. That sounds like fun. Can't wait. Go, go, go! You must die! I will destroy you! I will destroy you! How you doing? <laughs> Feeling alright? <laughs> they just get one shot now. That's amazing. At long range, too. They just die. My gun's scary. Except it overheats immediately, so I have to wait between shots, but still. <laughs> this gun's stupid. I love it. Hey, friend. Oh, you're alive. Stop that. I'm supposed to die when I shoot you. It's like every single shot is the, uh... The overkill shot that I do. Fly for me. Admittedly, I, I apologize that it may be annoying. But yeah, it's like every single shot I take is carnage. And then every now and then I can fire a carnage shot to not overheat my gun when I fire, basically. You're on the ground. What are you going to do about that? Whoops. <laughs> oh, guns are silly. Alright. The sniper? Where are you hiding? Oh. He's- he's been taken care of. I got $9,000 from that? How can I get money? I can't hold any of it. See? <laughs> Perimeter clear. I tried doing a- I tried surveying a medal on the way here and it gave me zero dollars for it. Cause I have- I maxed out. So the object, objective is to the left. What's over to the right? I will destroy you! No? None of that? Alright. I regret my either earlier decisions to override things by slapping Omnigel on them because, uh... A lot of things only turn- a lot of items only turn into like four Omnigel when you sell them. So it's not a total you get back quickly. And oftentimes the contents aren't that worth it. Definitely some high level gear though. This game doesn't really, uh, uh, as far as I can tell, this game just doesn't have predetermined gear of any kind. I mean, all the items uh, all the items pre-exist. None of the loot's randomly generated, but it's randomly distributed, I think. And I think that as you, yeah, as you get progress in the level, like, everything's just automatically, like, level 8. 
Like, I'm... Everything's level 8 and 9, basically. Pretty much without exception. Likely because of my level in the game. Because you can see, like, it's just the same items, more or less. I don't know why I'm looting. I actually can't... I don't know why I just did that. I can't sell it for money. I guess I can turn it into Omni Gel and that's it. It's unlikely to be reward uh, upgrades for my characters because I already met, I've already had chances to upgrade my characters, and it's unlikely to be worth money because I can't get money. So it just comes down to being a potential source of uh, Omni Gel, so I can skip hacking, hacking games in the future. You cautiously press a few buttons, and an alarm chimes. The optical database is flashing itself. Quickly, you copy as many files as you can to your hard suit's internal computer. Is its memory wiped? The computer shuts down. The files are sure to be encrypted, but you've got time to crack them. So there we go. We caught Cerberus's HQ. We wiped out everyone inside. Not their HQ, but at least a, a base. Because this is not it for Cerberus. But we've got major important files from theirs. And we don't know what we got, but it's something. We'll try to use it. Are they going to attack me on the way out? You'd figure an alarm going off would lead to people attacking you uh, just because you're at their base, but that would require them to be on the planet in the first place, and it's very possible that the only people on the planet were the ones we just fought. And anyone else receiving a distress signal would not be able to arrive in time. This is weird. I'm pretty sure these are assets from the Pharos mission, actually. <laughs> They're, tr they're trying to dress up these repeating interiors, so they're tr I think they're trying to use assets from different locations, like how we saw the, the random geth stuff everywhere. I'm pretty sure these blocks and stuff are stuff you would see on Pharos or something like that. Weird. Are we supposed to think that Cerberus is running a quarry? Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you, and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. Did you have anything to do with Admiral Kahoku ending up dead? We had no reason to harm him. He was going to provide us with information about Cerberus. Information that is now in your possession. You must have some connection to Cerberus. How else could you tell Kahoku where to find them? Information is our business, Commander. Through our contacts, we were able to determine that the Cerberus group was active in the Voyager cluster. Unfortunately, that was all we were able to find out. That is why we are so interested in acquiring copies of the files from you. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. What are you going to do with this information? Information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. What are you gonna do, pay me money? I broke the very concept of money. Money is dead now. So we're here looking for a missing survey team. And but by the way, at this point, I've successfully finished sweeping the galaxy. I've now visited every system and so on. So at this point now we're just hunting down any missing objectives I never got to along the way. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Could be answers at the excavation site. And we're going to be checking out the excavation site then. Why am I doing this? There's no possible benefit, most likely. Oh my god, why can't I stop grabbing all the loot? Why can't I stop? <laughs> I believe we saw the excavation site right over here. Yep, that's a mine. That's got to be it. So yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've visited every system at this point, and now it's just following up on various objectives. Either ones I somehow missed, 
or ones where I did something somewhere else, which triggered me to to get a new objective elsewhere in the system. So we're revisiting systems or completing final objectives, which is why you saw me do back-to-back -back objectives of doing the last Geth base and the last Cerberus base, because a normal sweep of the area makes you find the all the other Geth and Cerberus bases, but the final ones unlock for the first time after you uh, after you take out all the other side ones, but and it's often in a system you already uh, finished exploring. But suddenly there's something new! A new planet you can land on or something like that. That's a lot of husks. Holy shit. This builds very poorly for the uh, research team, I gotta say. Oh, I missed. That's disappointing. Gotcha. The downsides of this build are not lost on me, but I am very amused by it. <laughs> that I just slowly wait for it to recharge over and over again and then destroy. Wow, they're just all over that place. Uh, Singularity, Liara? <laughs> confetti! Geth confetti! This is stupid. Everything's stupid. I love it. I love how stupid this is. Get out of here. Oh, did I miss? I have heard of this before. Whatever alien technology the survey team unearthed must have turned them into mindless fanatics, machine cultists. Whatever they found, it's long gone now. Ah! 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 I wasn't expecting that part. <laughs> that got way worse. Uh, you throw them now. And you throw these ones. Everybody gets thrown. I think I just got a double kill? No, not quite. Good time for sabotage and a warp. Just throwing some effects around. Everyone gets to have a bad day when I'm around. Let's try to blow up his shield. There we go. That pretty much cleared things out. Holy crap. Bad times for everyone. Anyone else in here? What are you guys shooting at? Oh. Thought we were done. Oh, jeez, we are not done. Everybody get in the tunnel. Everybody get in the tunnel. If they can keep coming in this slowly, that'd work out great for me. We good? Are there more of you? Just don't want to be attacked from behind while we continue. Uh, well, yep, that's how you get turned into, uh, into a geth husk. That doesn't bode well for anyone. I don't know about the, uh, they said any technology they found is gone now, I don't know about that. Because this stuff's here everywhere. That makes me wonder, though, if this is a reoccurring thing where people supposedly become, uh, machine cultists on a regular basis. Not regular, necessarily, but it's known to happen. Does that mean that there's, like, chunks of, like, indoctrination <laughs> machines just kind of around? Left over? Oh. Well. Is that it? I don't see anything else coming up here. I'll go there and find out what happened. Okay, so we're not done. Everybody back off. I'm gonna blow shit up. I'm gonna blow it up. That didn't do anything. Okay. I don't see anything to interact with in here. Despite being high explosive, it does not blow that thing up. Holy crap, it's loud though. So is there something noteworthy around here? It just seems like an open area. Am I crazy, or is there, no or is there nothing to interact with? I'll, I'll double check in here. Maybe I missed a console or something. Things look pretty empty. I'm supposed to investigate this place, right? Double check the objective, make sure it says what I think it does. Yeah, I gotta find out what happened. Maybe that- I mean, it feels like we already found out. Unless there's something important in the room that I may have missed during all the con the conflict. 
How about you? Nope, that's just stuff. I'm not seeing anything major around here. It's probably not in just random crates, right? I feel like crates never have stuff in them, they just have loot. But nothing that affects anything. Huh. Guess I'll head back out. Oh, there it is. That accounts for all the Exogeny survey team. They were converted to cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried in a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Interesting, that's becoming a reoccurring glitch or something, basically. Where a quest doesn't complete because it's just... It doesn't register the 100% kill rate I was, I'm was supposed to get. And then I come back and there's some wounded guy sitting around. Possibly because they were tossed about or something by biotics or something. Or just somehow fell in a corner or got fell out of the map or something. Same thing happened last episode when I was trying to figure out the, uh, the Geth bases. And I had to come back later and then the one guy I hadn't killed was just standing there in plain sight. There's an unidentified space facility. This is where we end up when we try to track back the uh, origin of that shipment that seems to have brought in Rachni. The space station appears to have been assembled from used off-the-shelf civilian ship modules of diverse origins. There are no obvious hole markings, and it is not broadcasting any ID signal. Let's blow everybody up. Let's see, Rachni. So not using any tech characters. Really, all guns is probably the way to go. Just sheer output of damage crossed with energy. Ashley and Rex are probably a good combo for that. Just lots of heavy offense. And, uh, durability. They have a toughness rating that'll help them survive, despite any, uh, armor ignoring damage they may take. Hopefully. Let's go ahead and update our save regardless, because Rachni have caused problems before. Hopefully my high explosive nightmare murder rounds will help me out this time. Nope. Oh, it's like a maze. Hello, murder maze. Oh no! It's those little guys. Oh no. <laughs> These are like the anti-shotgun of enemies. Because they, they're they specifically good... There we go. It's, it's, a, it's the one specific enemy that, you, that is really good to fight with a rapid-fire weapon. There we go. There we go. Because one hit takes them out, but it's, so if you're using a slow weapon, you're kind of screwed. Is this a Rachni maze? Is that what we're doing today? Okay, sure. Why not? Who made this? Who would do this? What a bizarre maze. I mean, I guess it's, yeah, it's, they're trying to make efficient... No, nah, yeah, it makes sense, more or less. It's they're trying to do efficient shipping container distribution so that you can still walk around the ship, but they use up as much space as possible with the actual contents. Sure. There's a door. I guess we'll just miss the last enemy for now. Oh, someone in here? A terminal, sure. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma-23 is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who'll believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus commandos. Cerberus? Is that a corporation? Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promised this batch would be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the master control unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading, boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, 
If you recover this message, my advice is, screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off. For the final time. This is a familiar story. A failed experiment with the Rachni. Nice to see humans are consistently stupid. Let's go. The escaped Rachni definitely came from this station, though the motives behind this Cerberus group are vague. To prevent further contamination, arm the station's scuttle charges and excav- and, uh, evacuate to the Normandy. So we're just gonna blow up the whole base. Right here. Ah, oh, god. Ig- oh goodness, oh god. Oh golly. We gotta get back over this maze and everything, or we're gonna be in some real doo-doo. Oh shit, I never checked this room out. Eh, I'm sure it's not important. What, more loot that I can't even carry, basically? Alright, let's try to retrace my steps. This isn't it. Well, immediately screwed this up, didn't I? Pew! That's gonna hurt if it hits me, and it did. Oh, you tiny bastards. Ah, lift doesn't work in that situation. Stop it. Leave me alone. Shit, running out of time. Running out of time. Ah, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Why couldn't we set it for a longer duration? Crap. Crap, 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 crap. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Run faster. Ah, I've never been so bothered by how long it takes doors to open. Alright, well that place blew up now. There we go. God damn, calm down, space. Any updates? Nope. That's just done with. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. Former scientists? Sounds like someone has a project they'd like to keep secret. We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago, on a coups. A coups? I lost my whole unit there. You're saying that our scientists were involved? I can't get any information on what they were working on. The project records were sealed. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out. Well, that's a big one, isn't it? Is it in this situation? Is it the doctor at risk I heard about? Dead scientists. The Newton system of the Kepler Verge. Oh uh, yeah, that's the same quest I was here for, but it was like a doctor at risk or something like that, and it suddenly turned into this quest. Okay. Go to the Newton system in the Kepler Verge. Yeah, that's where I am. We need to find this secret project. Okay. So we have another- also, we had another case of, uh... Oh, that's probably right there. Just considering that it has a land icon. Uh, so we just had another case of Rachni breaking out and trying to spread everywhere and cause mayhem. But, uh, it seems like the implication would be that perhaps maybe these ones aren't crazy? I don't know. The ones we let go seem to be intending on some level of empathy that is not- is not previously expected. But, uh, maybe these ones are different. Maybe these ones would have been chaotic, or maybe they were just, uh, aggressive towards humans because they were mistreated. It's hard to say for sure, because we don't, we don't have a ton of exposure to the Rachni. But, uh, they were definitely, uh... Let's grab Ashley and Rex again, why not? Uh, th those, uh, those Rachni were definitely being imprisoned and mistreated and shipped around and experimented on, so... You could say that them, es them escaping on purpose to specific locations and attacking humans when they arrive could have been a bit coincidental that they just arrived near humans and humans were clearly an enemy up until then, so why stop treating them as such? What are we looking at here? Got an anomaly, debris, underground facility. That'll take a little while to get to. Well, here's our anomaly. That's a bit peculiar. It's also noteworthy that they use the same nests here for everything. Is that a dead, dead Turian? So here's a weird nest thing, I think that's what that's supposed to be. 
Hello, giant bugs. What's the issue with these nests is that they've used them for these guys, they've used them elsewhere, and they've used them also for the monkeys. And so they, they use the same nest for a whole bunch of different aliens, which doesn't quite make sense. What do you have? An artifact. They've got a Turian insignia. It's unclear what happened to this Turian. He has an ancient paper book with the Boaster Outpost insignia printed on the cover. One upside with the side quests that are about uh, collecting a bunch of things like Turian insignias is that they at least don't require you to get everything. Uh, in the case of the Turian insignia thing, they expect you to get like... Well, I don't know how many they expect you to get, but I I completed it a while ago, so they don't require 100%. Just, it's just some decent percentage. I've actually finished most of the collectible style quests in the game. Not the heavy metals, because all the all the metal gathering stuff takes forever because uh, they aren't they aren't marked on your map. So you just have to walk. You have to wander around randomly on these big, open, boring planets that don't you can't drive on super well half the time. But uh, I've act for the other collectibles, I've actually finished everything except for the matriarch writings. I think I'm still short one now. All right, one more crashed. Uh, probe salvaged and there's my next objective right down there so maybe we'll finally get our answer to the most asked question of this series what the hell happened on a <laughs> oh bad times I'm gonna hang out back here then bye how's that working out for you buddy got someone I couldn't even see them but I got them <laughs> I can hear them from here going go 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 it's adorable, you're idiots. Okay, I can't see crap from here. Just gotta move around a little bit. Bye. Consider yourself incinerated. Wait, did that guy just survive? No, he didn't. <laughs> I was really confused. I'm like, wait, he vanished in an instant when I shot him. But there was no experience totality to tell me I killed him. I hate boxes. Arr. Are we looking at humans everywhere? Yeah, those are humans. There was dead humans and live humans. So it must have been the must have been the scientists had guards and then they're and they're being attacked. So that's why there's live and dead humans in the same group. Possibly. Yeah, they br they came in and, k and killed everyone. Well, shit. Why are malfunctioning objects always full of ammo? That's a weird... It's a weird internal logic you just kind of learn to accept at some point, I guess. Where are you guys at? Go, go, go! That was probably a bad idea. Hi there. How you doing? I'm gonna go with uh, this. Levitate me. I'm just missing now, aren't I? Gonna need that barrier back up. There we go. Oh, they sabotaged my gun. That's why I couldn't fire. I'm like, it's not working. What's happening? You go into stasis. Wait, I just need one fewer problem for the moment. Uh, you having fun, buddy? Oh, there he goes. Oh, I missed because you made him fly. It's amusing, but also bad. Down to bummer. <laughs> the physics is amazing. They're behind us too. Yeah, they are. Holy crap! You guys get around. You go on a trip. You get. You don't have shields. Crap. Well, I guess you get this then. Or I get misactivated, apparently. Okay. Okay. One more down. Hi, friend. How are you doing today? I would like you to not shoot me. There we go. He'll be fine. No, he won't. He very much won't. Fly for me! I'm gonna need that shield, probably. There we go. Here comes the carnage. Oh, ho, ho. bad time for you. Oh, 
<laughs> what is the physics for some of these shots? They're great. They just they just ping pong through the level. You guys seem like you're having a bad time. Are you having a bad time? I can't really relate, to be honest. Things are going a-okay -okay, a -okay for me. Ashley and Shepard are probably the- I mean, Ashley and Rex are probably the toughest, uh, party members to bring along. Stay back! I've got no grief with you! All I want is this bastard! Please! He's a madman! Mr. Tubes, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't- Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Tombs? But you were on a coast. I, I saw the Thresher mob pull you under. They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. What did they do to you, Tombs? You can't believe Tombs! He doesn't have any proof! I demand a fair trial! Commander Shepard was there. She knows the truth. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit! Are you with me? I can arrest him. He'll answer for his crimes in court. Weren't you listening? He was part of a secret organization. I don't know what Cerberus is, but they'll never let their operation become public. This is the only way. Are you helping me, or are you killing me? Tombs, it doesn't have to be like this. This isn't the only way. It is for me. I avenge them, Shepard. Our unit can finally rest in peace. I can finally let go. The vids say that you were the sole survivor of what happened at Akuz. Who am I to argue? Tombs' corpse slumps to the floor. His face, pinched with rage just a few moments ago, appears peaceful. He resolved the situation in his own way. You salute the corporal's body. He deserves that at least. And then return to and you turn to leave. Oh, we really turned to leave. We just warped right out. We immediately warped out automatically. That's a weird detail. That it never it never works that way. They never warp you out of the, uh, of, out of the building, maybe off the planet, but they warped me just outside. Huh. Well, we found out why the scientists are dying. Because they'd be the ones behind a coups, and they were evil, more or less. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. It's unfortunate both the Doctor and Tombs died, but I know you did your best under the circumstances. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth lead out. Man, you do this you do enough side content in this game, you get really aware of the word Cerberus. And if you don't do any of the side content in this game, you have no idea who Cerberus is when they actually start becoming important to the main story in future games. Okay, so here's us attacking the Syndicate again. We did one of them a little while ago. This is the second base. And we were, we've known about these base locations because we were turned on to them by another Syndicate leader that points out that, that, like, she seems to be just into illicit activities, but these people are specifically up to really awful shit, supposedly. But we'll see how much that turns out to be true. Because it, it honestly just seems like she's using us to take out her competition, which seems incredibly likely. So we'll see how our meeting goes, because she doesn't, she does, it's very noteworthy that she doesn't want us to meet on the Citadel. As soon as I'm done with this mission, she wants to meet me on some other planet, some other third location. So reasonably, I think she's... I totally expect her to just try to take us out. So why wouldn't she? There we go. But we'll see when we get there. 
Where's the door? There we are. All right. That one ladies competition part two. Best case scenario. Uh, she's genuinely up to no, she's genuinely fine. And we take out two bad syndicate leaders. Worst case scenario, eh, we take out three syndicate leaders. No big deal. Hey guys, I will destroy you. <laughs> I will destroy you. I will destroy you. Love y'all saw. Oh wow. Wow. Those frame rate drops really mess with your aiming sometimes. Every now and th every now and then I'm baffled by where my cursor ended up by the time I pulled the trigger. Hi there. How you doing? Oh, you overreached my weapon. That wasn't very nice of you. Gonna have to return the favor, honestly. No more sniping from you, please. You go on a trip? <laughs> the physics. It's just so fun to throw people. Oh, that just stays at a wall. Or maybe I didn't. No, I did, unfortunately. I'm gonna blow up your shields. And then you. It's still overheated. Holy crap, that was a long one. Congrats. A plus. Hi, friend. Ah, aiming is hard. There we go. Hopefully the uh, following games run better. I think that's a consistent thing with Mass Effect 1 in particular, is it always never- it never runs as well as I think it does. I always forget just how much it kind of chugs along during big high-octane moments. I will, destroy you. I will destroy you! That is the shittiest trash talk. It's adorable. You're so adorable. Why are you so shit? Welcome to Stasis. Oh, it's the crime boss. That's him. Locked and loaded. He's the big bad. Oh, does, is that why I'm- is he the one that has really effective, uh, a really, really effective sabotage? Because holy crap, he's good at this. I oh, I tried to cast stasis on him, but I cast it on the floor because I couldn't aim. I will destroy you. Did I did I get him? I think I got him. I still can't shoot. Holy crap, you're busy. How about how's that for a sabotage? I'm gonna set it straight this water gate. Second crime lord defeated. That's both of them. No doubt Helena Blake will be overjoyed to learn that these two scum are no longer a problem. Slight, you know, shortly before she tries to make us no longer a problem. Seems obligatory at this point. Is it the way I came in, or is it the way to go deeper in? It's the way deeper in. It's probably crap, right? I mean, we already took out the boss himself, so this is probably nonsense. Yeah. I don't feel like hacking for more duplicate items, but I'll grab the free stuff. It just wears on you eventually, and you don't want to deal with it anymore. Nope. Uh, I think we're ready to leave. There's one. Alright, let's go deal with her now. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Or, I assume that's what's happening. I guess we'll see. Benefit of the doubt, perhaps? Just a little? Nah. Crime lords and all that. Hello again, Commander Shepard. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. I killed them because they deserved it. Now I'm placing you under arrest. Surely you don't think that necessary. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. These crimes are hardly worth your time. If you press the issue, my assistants are very well equipped to deal with you. I'm giving you one chance to live through this. Shut this gang down. I cannot believe you place such a high priority on stopping such petty, victimless crimes. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. 
Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Dun dun dun! That's actually like the best case possible scenario. We wiped out two entire groups uh, that were very much shoot on sight with us, and then we managed to get rid of the third group by just saying, "Hey, you're done. This is just, this this group doesn't exist anymore." And apparently, that worked. of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Hey, Garroth, bad news. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's... dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for finding him. It's better to know one way or the other. That's what they say, right? Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. The Quarians endangered the entire galaxy when they let the Geth break free. I hope your people are properly contrite, Tally. As the Turians are properly contrite for releasing the Genophage upon the Krogan. You're assuming that sterilizing them was a mistake. Well, at least everyone has their own pet atrocity. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch them all. This seems bad. You guys arguing? I saw your Ferris report. If we had known anything about the Thorian, Exogeny would never have been given the permits to start a colony there. Thank God the colony survived. We can't afford to have too many failures out in the Traverse. It's one of our major expansion regions. You don't give a damn about the colonists. It's all just politics to you, isn't it? We can't all be the hero who charges in to save the day, Commander. But we each serve humanity in our own way. You can't escape interstellar politics, it's part of the big picture, and sometimes it isn't pretty. Just ignore him, Shepard. The Ambassador's a little bitter sometimes, comes with the job. Yes, Commander? Do you know anything about Vermeer? Sorry, Shepard. I've never even heard of it before all this. You'll have to go out there and check it out for yourself. How are you holding up? Honestly. Oh, there's, that's definitely the dialogue we've heard before. Whoopsie. Accidentally pulled out my gun. Ah, <laughs> he's gone. He's just gone. The ambassador just mag magically vaporized. I love that. He did the, he did the animation I talked about, though, where he, he, his eyes shoot off to the side, and then he turns his head to the side, and then he walks off camera. And that's just the go-to way, that, especially for humans, to just sort of disappear out of frame. Oh yeah, here's something. The Krogan War Monument. A big ol' thank you for how great they were for saving the galaxy from the Rachni. And then we've wiped them out. Yay! Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan Rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. 
Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2,200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race, the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. This will always be a this will always be a statue of mixed messages. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make sure they don't tell anyone. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. That's kind of a funny detail there. Uh, both of the options you could pick basically refer to the idea that uh, that we've already saved her from a problem, but uh, that's actually a Garrus-related mission that can or cannot happen, and I don't... Th if I remember correctly, I actually didn't encounter that mission because of the path I took through the Citadel missions, and so the fact that Shepard re responds to that actually might be a bit of a, a plot hole. Uh, just uh, just a, a, a slight gap in the writing. Unless I'm forgetting something. I'm pretty sure I'd never encountered in this playthrough any form of her being in trouble. There you are, Morlan. Hello there. Welcome to Morlan's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Morlan. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. 
Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Well then, it would seem that things have escalated a bit. So he's, he's playing middleman for someone else. Someone that we probably need to check in on. Your choice in armor is awfully limited, Tally. Couldn't you wear something without a helmet? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. So your people are forever wandering, and now they couldn't settle if they wanted to. I'm sorry. Oh god, is that Conrad again? Hi. I've been waiting for you to get back. I'm sure you have. I'm standing right there. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This'll just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the Council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. Wow. That's full on crazy. Okay, yeah. Oh my god, Doran's bound. Look at- he's dancing with the group! Yeah, Doran! <laughs> Alliance officials report that a Geth incursion into the Armstrong Cluster has been repulsed, with the Geth suffering heavy casualties. In the event of future Geth activity, the Alliance plans to maintain a strong security presence in the area. Catch him, catch him, gotta catch him all. Well, we took care of it. Here I go being a bad example for Garrus again. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. We should follow up with Captain Anderson. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talk. Oh, someone's been a bad boy. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. Alright, Anderson, you got any op any answers for us? Yes, Commander. What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the ship? I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. 
I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Baines the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, that's super creepy. That's super creepy. Why do, why do we just have a, a whole conversation about Kohoku or we're talking about the next time we meet him? Kohoku's super dead, just like Baines. It's weird, like... We got- the, we started the conversation regarding the confusion about whether or not Baines is alive or dead, and ended it with the confusion of whether or not Kohoku is alive or dead. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat c -Sec. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Whoa. There's an excited chime I don't recognize. Admiral Kohoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Patarians died of natural causes. Kohoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. There's a familiar face. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. And now I'm apparently specializing in leaks. We're coming up here. This they actually made a whole room just for this quest. But more than li more likely they actually made the room for like lore explanation reasons and then added the quest to make it more interesting. It still freaks me out how there's just a fucking box room down here. It seems unintentional, right? It's weird. It's just empty. It's just so big and empty. What is that room? It's a weird room. There we go. We've planted it in an inconspicuous location, according to the game itself. Hopefully nothing goes wrong, and it's just something that can lead to a nice, healthy leak that leads to information getting out about a dangerous situation that needs to be changed. Hopefully. Optimism, you know. Well, Emily, I'm immediately returned. I'm already getting readings! This is gonna make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm gonna show this to my publisher. Whew! There we go! That's the last of the side quests. Basically, except Pinnacle Station, because fuck Pinnacle Station, <laughs> fuck that place. I'm not doing it. Can't deal with that shit right now. <laughs> it's just, it's just crappy combat challenges with the, without any of the narrative excuse. So I'd rather not. 
So, uh, that's it. That's, that concludes our trilogy of side questing episodes where we cleaned up the entire galaxy because we're so awesome, apparently. Uh, they took on average about three hours to record each. <laughs> so that's, uh, took me about nine hours to record these three episodes. I am, uh, let's say I'm very ready for Vermeer and a nice linear mission full of dense yes, narratives and shooting. If you do not mind me asking, how do you feel about hunting a Turian? Saren is either a traitor or a madman. Taking him down will restore the good name of Turians everywhere. Things are different among my people. There are so few of us. We are expected to be loyal, even when it is difficult. See you next time.